One day in fifth grade science class, not too long ago, I was introduced to the concept of an ecosystem. And it changed my life forever. Not sure what an ecosystem is? Don't worry. Today, we'll be heading outside to learn what ecosystems are, how we classify them, and why they matter to you and me. Let's get started. Ecosystems are communities of plants, animals, and their surroundings. They can be as large as Yellowstone National Park or as small as a single tree. Everything in the ecosystem is connected through a network of interactions which allow energy and nutrients to flow throughout the entire system. For example, let's think about a forest. Trees turn sunlight and nutrients into leaves, branches, and fruits, which provide food and shelter for animals. These animals help the trees grow by spreading their seeds and pollen, and create nutritious soil when they produce waste or die and decompose. We'll talk about all of this in more detail in future videos, but for now, the important thing to remember is that ecosystems are communities of many interconnected plants, animals, and their surroundings. We usually define ecosystems based on the types of plants and animals which can be found there. There are two main types of ecosystems, terrestrial and aquatic. Terrestrial ecosystems are land-based and include habitats such as forests and grasslands. Aquatic ecosystems are water-based and include habitats such as lakes, rivers, estuaries, and the ocean. Both of these types of ecosystems can occur in many different climates and include a wide variety of organisms depending on factors such as temperature, precipitation, and geographic features. For example, a forest in North Carolina might be home to animals such as red-shouldered hawks or black rat snakes, but a forest in Costa Rica could have scarlet macaws or bird snakes. In later videos, we'll learn about the different jobs that animals can have in an ecosystem. But for now, let's talk about why ecosystems are important to you and me. For one thing, healthy ecosystems ensure that a wide variety of plants and animals are able to survive and thrive. This variety of life is known as biodiversity. Biodiversity helps ecosystems recover from changes such as wildfires, diseases, or invasive species, which could seriously upset the natural balance. When an ecosystem becomes unbalanced, it is harder for animals to find food and shelter, and plants to get the nutrients that they need to grow. This matters to you because healthy ecosystems keep our air and water clean and provide nutritious food for us and other animals. Also, studying these natural areas helps us learn how to protect them and keep them healthy. Can you think of an ecosystem that you enjoy spending time in? Maybe you like going on vacation to the beach or mountains, or playing soccer at a park. What animals and plants do you find in those places? When you make observations about the natural world, you are learning about ecosystems just like scientists. Thanks so much for joining me today in learning what ecosystems are, how we classify them, and why they're so important to you and me. In future videos, we'll be exploring different types of ecosystems to learn about the amazing animals and plants which we can find there. Until then, stay curious and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.